Yo, how are we doing guys? Welcome to another Dead Frontier 2 video. This time we've got the Outpost Attack update. Finally, something decent that's coming to the game. Obviously, it is new. He's doing some testing with it. So there is some positives, but there's also some cons. So we're going to go through that, like all the positives, all the new stuff into the game. And then we'll go into the negatives with it. So anyway, let's get on with it. You can skip to a certain part if you want. There'll be timestamps in the description below. Let's get on with the video. All right, so let's get started. On to the first thing. Um, now, whenever you press M to go into your mini-map, there will now be this marker here. Obviously, it could do with being improved, like being improved. I'd say, obviously, make it a full triangle, like there's no bottom part, and then just make the thing pure white and make it smaller. It doesn't need to be that big. But, yeah, now you can see where you're looking, you know, where you stood and all that. So that... That is a really big improvement because it was a bit annoying when you come into a room with like five doors on it and you're like, all right, which one, which door have I just come through? You know what I mean? So that is really, like, yeah, like I said, that's a 10 out of 10 update. It does need to look a little bit better. Um, it's kind of like if you get gray screen as well where you're nearly dying, you can barely even see it. So I'd say just make it pure white, make it a little bit smaller and make it into a full triangle. But yeah, really, that's um, that's a nice touch. Just needs improving. Right, on to the second part. Um, the car map where you travel about. Obviously, you can see Dalbo, Greywood, and Haverbrook are now yellow because these are outpo outpost zones. These are where your main outposts are. Your level 1, your level 10, and your level 20. So now he's made it yellow so you can easily see which area has outposts and which ones don't. Uh, don't. Obviously, for us... I us players that have been playing for a long time it don't really matter because we know anyway but for newer players and then people that have played the game and then come back and they've kind of forgot obviously this is a huge improvement for them because now they, they know how to get everywhere a lot easier so again nice touch i know a lot of people have been asking for this for a long time so yeah again 10 out of 10 on that one couldn't have done it any better really all right, so the big part of the update, the one that you're all wanting to hear about, the outpost attacks. So there is some positives and some negatives to this update. So I'm going to go with the positives first. That's always best to do, you know what I mean? So anyway, the positives with the update, obviously it gives you something extra to do. You can earn bonuses like bonus XP. Um, I think you get more XP for killing the zombies at the same time. And it just adds... To be fair, it just adds more to the game. It was really interesting. I did like, as you can see in this clip, this is from a live stream. You know, there's a lot of zombies there. Like, I, there is a lot. It was really fun. But, um, right, on to the negatives. But, like, before I get on, a, I get on with this, he's already said this is just testing purposes at the minute, what you're seeing right now. Obviously, it's going to get improved on. It's going to be changed a lot over the next couple of weeks until he gets it how he wants it. And then it'll be done. But for how it is at the minute, for the first release, the negatives, quite easy really. Um, there was no bosses. That was a big disappointment. There was no guards. For me, that's for me that's a negative. Not like won't be a negative for everyone, but for me it was. I was hoping to see a couple of guards stood outside. You know, like a little improvement on the bases, um, bring a little bit more life to the game. But no, there was no guards. All right. So the amount of zombies. This was a good thing and a bad thing at the same time. So. For the footage you're seeing right now, um, I'm at Dalbo. This is a level one area. Four level ones would not have a chance of taking all these on. Not a chance at all. Now, if it was this amount of zombies in the level 20 area, then yeah, I can, you know, like it should be difficult because you're in the higher level, the highest level area in the game at the moment. But for now, this was in Dalbo. And there's, like I said, there's no way they could hold this off on their own. Not without a high level character being there. Um, helping back them up. You're going to see a lot of players are going to struggle with this. I'd say me personally, how I would have done it would would have been um, in a level 1 area. Most Like, they all should have been walkers. And then when you're going up to level 10, you should have half of them as walkers. With um, half of them as sprinters. Then obviously when you get to level 20, you have them all as sprinters. You know, not all sprinters in level one. That was that was a bad idea. Um, also, the 
when you hear the sirens, they only attack one outpost at a time, which is kind of a shame, because obviously I'm level 28, I don't want to be going to a level 1 area killing zombies there, I'd rather go to the level 20 area and do it. It'd be nice if all the outposts got attacked at the same time. Um, the next part would be the health bar, you can't see this properly because I've got um, my, my stream overlaid, but there, you can see the red line in the top left corner of the screen. That's the health bar going all the way across. Um, the health bar is global for some weird reason, which our first two outpost attacks we won, and then the third one that I did, we lost. And I don't think we had more than, we didn't have zombies on that door for more than 30 seconds. Like through the entire, I think it was like 25 minutes that it went on for. But we still lost and we got literally nothing from it, which was a huge shame. Uh, the health bar system I wasn't a fan of, I'd rather it just be how it was in Dead Frontier 1, but again, this is my personal negative. Obviously, some people are going to feel differently about that. But other than that, I can't really say much. You can see the gameplay, I just use your eyes, <laughs> you know? Like, you can, see how, you can see how it looks. It's fun, it's good, it's going to get improved. Hopefully, um, I'm, the main thing I'm wanting to see is all outposts being attacked at the same time. And the outpost attacks every couple of hours, like every two to three hours. At the minute, I think they're like four to five hours apart, which kind of sucks. Uh, so it'd be nice if they were like two to three hours apart, because then it, it gives you something else to do. Because if I play this game and go and do all the bosses in the 25 and 30 zones, I'll, it'll take me two hours to do that. I'll probably do one outpost attack, and then I've got nothing to do for the rest of the day. Like, I, like if I've got a full day off anyway, then... Um, Obviously, if I'm playing Dead Frontier 2, I'll get about two and a half hours on it, and then I'll have nothing left to do in the game, so I'll just turn it off. So it'd be nice if it'd roll over every couple of hours, so it'd give me something to go back to base, uh, go back to the base for all the time, so it'd keep me interested. But yeah, that's that's all the information I've got for you at the minute. As updates come out for the outpost attacks, obviously I will let you know. I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. I hope it informed you on the outpost attacks. And I will catch you in the next one. Peace out, guys. I'll see you in the next video.